What's up guys, Mark here, and in this video we're gonna be talking about upholstery. That's right, a lot of times when we finish a subwoofer enclosure, we'll wrap it with a variety of materials, whether it be carpet or upholstery vinyl. And this goes for many different things that you would do in a car audio build, whether it be door panels or A-pillars, subwoofer boxes, the list goes on. So what is the best strategy to follow when you're using carpet in order to hide all the seams? And what about when we have tight, sharp corners that we have to hide the edges of the vinyl? How can we do that? What upholstery adhesive should should we be using? All that and more is coming on up in this video where we finish the transmission line enclosure. This is both my favorite and least favorite part of the project. At least favorite because it's time consuming, I have to wear a mask the whole time, the fumes are kind of stinky, it hurts your fingers pulling vinyl and pulling carpet and constantly cutting all the fine details, but it's my favorite because it means that we're almost done. If you remember from the previous video, this is where we left off with the box. The box now has magnets on it so that this is secured to the front. These guys here are gonna press fit in. But in the meantime, we're going to start with wrapping the main part of the enclosure here with carpet. So I've got the main three sides of the enclosure covered now. So next I need to actually spray this side and then I need to start working the carpet into these grooves that I made when I built the box. These grooves here were made by a rabbiting bit. It gives me a spot to tuck the carpet and then we can use it as a seam between this piece of carpet that covers here and this part of the carpet on the edge. So, wha-bam! There we have it. We've got the enclosure completely wrapped in carpet now. Everything is tucked into these grooves. Now we can move on to doing the vinyl. Oh, I'm so excited. It's gonna look awesome. But before we move on to wrapping the vinyl, I just wanna take a quick second to thank the sponsor of this episode, Audio Control. If you're using a factory head unit or you want full control of your sound, and I mean full control, you wanna take a look at Audio Control's DM810 or 608 digital signal processor. I recently installed one of these into the Jeep build that I did. And when I was recently out in Las Vegas for SEMA, Audio Control put on a training event where they taught members of the community how to use this software. A big thanks to them for supporting my videos. And if you wanna check out Audio Control's DM810 and some of the other devices they have, you can check it out at a link down in the video description. Now wrapping with upholstery vinyl can definitely be a challenge and usually in my videos, I'll show everything that I'm wrapping in vinyl. But in this video, I wanna do something a little bit different. Rather than showing you everything and showing you everything really briefly, I'm just gonna focus on one part of the front. We're going to focus on wrapping this insert piece right here, rather than showing you guys the wrapping of the other pieces because it's essentially the same process. That way I can really go into detail on how we wrap around these tight corners and secure everything to the back. I've prepared a few pieces of vinyl for each of the different pieces here. That's easy enough. Obviously you want to cut the vinyl so that you have more than enough room to tuck in. And something to consider on these small pieces like this is you're gonna make life a lot easier on yourself if you kind of push the material in here here before you start wrapping it. And so you want to take that into account when you're adding some extra material. You wouldn't want to cut so close. Leave yourself 
plenty of extra. Something else you wanna do, my friend, is you wanna make sure that you double check the opposite side of the vinyl here. You wanna make sure that there's not any imperfections, that everything's looking good, nice and clean, before we take all the time to wrap this. Quick question for you dudes, I need your input because it helps me make the videos better for you. Do you guys prefer the style of editing that I did at the beginning of this video where everything's just kind of edited to music and you kind of just watch? Or do you like this style of video where I explain to you all of the steps? Let me know by posting a comment below. Again, your input really helps me so I can make better videos for you guys. I'm gonna start with applying upholstery adhesive to the outside perimeter of the shape so that I have a rough idea how much adhesive I have to lay down onto the vinyl. Now the best tip I can give you for upholstery is to make sure that you use the right adhesive. Don't mess around. You may have noticed that when I was wrapping the carpet at the beginning of the video, I was using a normal aerosol spray adhesive. That's okay for carpet, but when you're using vinyl, you really need it to hold well. So that's why I recommend the upholstery adhesive that I show in this video up in the corner of the screen. Now, once the vinyl has the upholstery adhesive all applied to it, it's obviously time to apply it to the pieces themselves. So I've put them on top of this plastic wrap here. This is actually garbage bags. This plastic will easily separate from any of the adhesive if we need it to. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cover these top surfaces of all the pieces. Now, because these pieces are shaped when I am applying the adhesive, I'm gonna make sure that I get the adhesive completely around the sides and down into the chamfers as well. We're not gonna worry about applying any adhesive to the back side of these pieces quite yet. I've given the adhesive plenty of time to dry now, and the way to test if it's plenty of time to dry is to just touch it. You shouldn't have any adhesive removed on your finger. We'll test both surfaces. Now we can mate these together. Now when we go to mate these two pieces together, I'm going to want to make sure that I push some of the inside material on the vinyl into the inside that will make it a lot easier to wrap because I'm not going to have to pull the material or stretch it as much. If you remember from our woodworking stages of this project, we made this groove here so that we have the material a nice spot to wrap over and tuck into. So we're of course going to apply upholstery adhesive in there. And if there's any extra that we need to add, like I think I might need a little bit more in this corner, we can add that in. To start wrapping the insert piece with vinyl, I'm gonna go around the outside of the shape first, pulling the vinyl up the vertical wall. I like to start in the corners where I'll pull the vinyl tight against the corner and then work away from it. After I've completely smoothed out all the wrinkles around the outside perimeter of the shape, I can just trim it against the outside edge. And the reason I can do this without wrapping it around to the back side is because it's gonna press fit into my main shape later. Now, because I allowed some extra material, this is gonna be a little bit easier for me, which I definitely need since the inside of this shape and the corners are pretty tight. What I can do is cut a small relief if I need to, but I wanna push as much of the vinyl up that angled edge as I can so that it's flush with the back side of the piece. If I need to cut some more reliefs, I can, and then I can cut some more reliefs to go into a corner and then fold the material around the back side where I can then secure it by pressing it against that rabbited edge. After I've gone around the inside of the shape and completely pressed it, I can use that rabbited edge in order to guide my knife to cut the vinyl straight. Everything's wrapped here. I can push in my final piece. There we go. Let's get the subwoofer added quick before we take a final look. So there we have it guys, the complete finished transmission line enclosure. I wanted to remind you guys that if you're new here, if this is the first video you're seeing, I have all the steps of building this enclosure along with all sorts of other tutorial videos on my channel. So you can check out those videos if you want. And if you want to be notified when I upload future videos, I would really appreciate having you as a subscriber. Once again, a special thanks goes out to Audio Control. You can check out the DM810 and learn more about audio control and making good sound great down in the video description. Special thanks to John, Brian, Ali, Jerry, Emmanuel, Truman, James, and Colin, and the rest of these guys. Until next time, Fab Family, keep on designing, building, and installing. Whoosh.